Look at me. I done dropped. What is it called? Tree frost. Whatever that be on the tree. Hey y'all, it's your girl Paula Steele. I am back with another video. So what's up, what it do? So today is the first lunch of Vegan Chick. And I'm headed to the store to get a couple of things that I need so that I can prep food to get ready for orders to begin at 12. So I'm gonna take y'all along with me. So one of the things that is on the plate is fresh fruit. And where else would I get it from other than Publix, okay? Publix has the best fruit. And also, I kinda wanna start with a small quantity just in case, you know, cause fruit kinda goes bad, kinda fast. So yeah, and I'm gonna do pineapples, grapes, and strawberries. So I do have honey hot flavors and honey barbecue, and this is what we are using, of course, agave for the honey portion. Video. Bye, bye. Me and Jerry, she like she been fight. She been fight her whole life. She been fight her whole life. Don't know when to stop fighting. And then he got me. <laughs> yeah, I basically got on the same thing. Except yours is cropped out. I'm sorry. Bye, y'all. I ain't been on here in a minute. Look, y'all, we got donuts. Oh my God, we got the seasonal kind. These two right here are maple pecan. These are cheesecake, pumpkin cheesecake, chocolate sprinkles, strawberry sprinkles, chocolate, and then glazed. Ooh, it looks so yummy. Oh. All right, so the first one. That much. Is it good? <laughs> Chocolate pizza. Let me see which one you got. Chocolate. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. Sprinkles with sprinkles. Mm -hmm. The first one I have is maple pecan. Mmm. So good. This mm. is a wild head. The other one is cheesecake. Mmm. Pumpkin cheesecake. Yeah, I Hey y'all, so as you can see, I've already freshened myself up. I made up my bed. I'm going to a lunch, brunch. Why did I say lunch? Brunch, breakfast, it's kind of breakfast because it is currently 9.17, okay? And I am meeting my sister for a quick little breakfast because this is the place that I've never tried before. So, I kind of know what I want to wear. I kind of was thinking about it last night. I know that I want to wear some shorts because it is hot outside. But girl, the dilemma is I have to shave my legs, okay? So, I think I'm gonna do that really, really quick and then I'll come back and show y'all the outfit that I want to wear. So, in order to shave my legs, I am gonna use my little 
personal shaper thing. Y'all have probably seen this before. I freaking love this thing. But the thing I like about it is that you can use it wet or dry. And y'all, I know it's crazy because you're probably like, girl, I literally just did my hygiene video where I was actually shaving and I did shave under my arms, which they are still shaved, but your girl did not shave my legs because I did not feel like it. I was trying to relax, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this and I don't wanna get in the shower because I'm already clean. I took a shower last night and I haven't done anything. So I'm gonna use this shaver to go ahead and just shave my legs and get it done quicker than, you know, using water and like a razor. All right, so this is what I came up with to wear, like these little arm fatigue shorts, and then one of these shirts, and then I'm gonna tie in a knot and make it look real cute with these shoes right here. So let's get dressed. Okay, y'all, so I'm ready. This is the outfit that I decided on. I decided to do this shirt and tie it up in a little knot with the shorts, the shoes, and then I got my little Balenciaga crop bag. I just decided to put my hair up. I'm gonna go to my bathroom. Y'all know my bathroom's got a good light. I decided to put my little Bun bun up with some big earrings, jewelry, and yeah. Your girl is ready to go, so let's go. Starting route to Maple Street Biscuit Company. So I just made it to Home Goods so we can get some of the fall decor that I'll be doing this year. I'm super excited because I do have some things from last year which will have to go in my garage and go through all of my decorations and find it. But we're going to get some new stuff too because I saw some stuff in here that I like. Oh, I think this is so cute. Like the little knickknacks. Look at this, y'all. You can put like little candy in there. That's so cute for Halloween in the candles. Love that. A lot of kitchen decor. I think this is mostly a lot of Halloween stuff. Oh, that is cute. Oh, these little pillows are cute. Oh, this is such a cute wreath. Look at those Christmas trees, even though it's not Christmas just yet.
Oh my gosh, I think this is so cute. It's got the four wax tapers and two pumpkin holders. Oh, that is so cute. Look at these, y'all. These are candles. back home from the store and I'm actually headed out to the garage to go get the other decor that I have from last year and if I have all of my decor kind of stuck in this little <laughs> storage closet out here where I have all my little real stuff sticks. oh my god oh but if you remember last year, I did have some freaking, I don't even remember what size pumpkins because I did end up getting some pumpkins. I'm gonna show y'all everything that I got from the store. But I did get some stuff and then some stuff that I had last year. Let me, hold on, let me put y'all down so I can get stuff out this closet. I got all of my nail stuff in this closet, y'all. Just in here from when I've been doing my nails and stuff. I got my Christmas tree. I have holiday decor in here. So, and it's so hot in here. Oh my gosh. I think I need to move this whole thing. Bottom half of my Christmas tree. That's just everything in here. See? Y'all, I didn't know it was this small, one of the pumpkins, but it'll have to do, baby. And it's gonna have to do whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, I didn't drop this. Look at me. I didn't drop, what is it called? Tree frost, whatever that be on the trees, all over me. Rock, frolic, whatever it's called from the trees. And I dropped all my nail tubes. This is just not working out. Okay, so y'all see this stuff all over me from this Christmas tree. Try to get it out of my hair and stuff as best as I could. Anywho, let me show y'all. I got this little thing right here from, this actually came from Dollar Tree. As you can see, it says thankful. And then I also got this little pumpkin from Dollar Tree and I thought the pumpkins that I had were a little bit bigger. I'm gonna have to find some courage when I go back in the <laughs> garage and when I cool off a little bit to find some more pumpkins. But this was the other pumpkin that I found in the garage. But I don't know, I just wanted to do something simple like in front of the house. So let's go out there and put it and see how it looks. So I ended up just putting it right here in the corner with the two little pumpkins and then the thankful. I think it's really, really, Cute. I don't know I think I like it but I wanted to have like a few different size pumpkins because me and my sister was talking about it and she was like the different sizes kind of look cute and look better so I don't know I think it does but this is what we got going so far all right, so that's all the little file decor that I'm gonna do for now. I might go back and look for some more stuff, but I wanted to sit down and talk to y'all. Y'all hope I got all that stuff on my hair. But I wanted to talk to y'all because I feel like I didn't get a chance to tell y'all more about vegan chic and everything that's going on. So I have officially launched a vegan chicken restaurant and I feel like this is just, I feel like it is just the beginning. First of all, the name of it is vegan chic, which I'm a vegan chick, <laughs> but it's just gonna be surrounded around vegan chicken. So we're just gonna sell vegan chicken sandwiches, vegan chicken nuggets with different sauces, fries, and always, as always, a fresh fruit cup because I feel like, you know, that's healthy or whatever. But I'm super excited and it's been a week since I've actually began and y'all, the support has been phenomenal and freaking amazing. I have come up with this custom sauce that is so freaking good. It's like, ah, 
<laughs> everybody love it so i am just excited for this new chapter of vegan food like if you guys do not follow me on social media then first of all you should but secondly everybody just goes crazy over my vegan food so i'm just like why not you know what i mean because as my following has grown over you know the past couple of months just from like my vegan recipes and vegan dinners and lunch and whatever that i cook and i post or whatever a lot of people was like oh i want some of that i'll buy a plate like can i try that can i try that so i was just so like oh my god everybody keep asking me to buy some food so i'm like well why not okay why not so the first week was just like a trial era. Like I said, it's been a week. So I think today, it's been a little bit over a week, but the first week was just phenomenal. So it's just gonna keep on rolling and keep on growing from here, y'all. I'm super excited about the things that I have in store. So definitely stay tuned. But yeah, and the sauce, the custom sauce, I, I plan to bottle it to be able for everyone to taste because it's literally good on everything. It's good on fries, it's good on chicken, it's good on burgers. Like. The sauce is banging, and I'm not just saying that because I made it, but the sauce is bumping, okay? It's busting, busting, busting. Yeah, I plan to bottle it up and be able, to, so I can, you know, be able to ship it anywhere for anybody to taste. But like I said, that is going to come soon. So y'all make sure you go follow Vegan Chick Mobile. So the link is gonna be down in the description. But yeah, that is gonna be the end of today's vlog because I'm hungry. I think I'm about to go. Y'all, yesterday, oh my God, I tried a Southwest salad from Chick Fil A. Of course, with no chicken, but it has black beans. What, is, what does it have? Black beans, corn, tomatoes, and it did have some cheese some regular cheese in there that i did eat and it was so freaking good i ate the dressing that i had it was was the sausage dressing i think it does have like egg yolk or something in it because i looked up the recipe but that's cool because sometimes i do eat regular cheese so but anyway i tasted it and it was so freaking good so i think i'm gonna go eat one again today but i do want to thank y'all so much for watching to the end of this vlog do not forget to like comment subscribe thank you so much for watching let me know if you like my little fog decor fog decor <laughs> down below thank y'all so much for watching i'll see you on the next video